Hi guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, Mix Medina. So today I will show you on how to install and uh, configure failover on a backup domain controller in Windows Server 2025. So uh, failover refers to the automatic switching to a standby or redundant system and a server or network component when the primary uh, one fails. So why failover configuration is important? So high availability, number one, uh, ensures the continuous uptime for a critical system and services. So um, number two is the disaster recovery. So provides a backup plan for a quick restoration during unexpected failures. Number three is a fault to tolerance. Allows the system to operate despite of component failures. So um, number uh, four is a load balancing distributes load across a multiple system to improve performance compliance and re reliability meets the industry regulations and uh, enhance uh, system re reliability so implementing failover configurations helps maintains the resilience and reliability of a uh, it infrastructure okay so uh, let's begin so i will show you my infrastructure overview so this is my uh, infrastructure I created. So uh, now I, I already created the primary domain controller. This is the previous uh, video I already created. And uh, I name it uh, PHMEDDC1. So the role is ADDS, DNS, DHCP. It's already, uh, already uh, configured. Then the IP, static IP address is 192.168.0.254.24. So this is the main uh, uh, primary domain controller PDC. So our domain is medina.com. Then uh, this uh, goal, our goal in this video is to create a backup domain controller BDC, and I uh, will uh, rename it as a PHMED PHMED DC2 domain controller 2. So role is ADDS DNS, and we will create another YouTube uh, tutorial for DHCP server backup DHCP server so for today I will create a ADDS and DNS replication so now this is uh, the IP address is 192.166.0.253.24 so the main controller the domain uh, the primary controller IP static is 254 the backup controller is uh, 253.253 okay so in my domain uh, active directory we uh, i created uh, manila in the primary domain controller i created the manila organization unit then uh, computers i already added uh, two windows 11 uh, laptop uh, and then uh, i have a department of it and also the staff or users okay so there is a great uh, already created users michael medina and uh, luan medina Okay, so now we, I will show you the existing my primary uh, Windows server. This is the server one. Okay, so I from my domain, from my Active Directory, I already created Vanilla computers with the two laptop, IT staff, and users. Then um, already configured the DHCP DNS. Okay, then the the name is pagemeddc1 then the domain medina.com and uh, the IP static IP is 254 this is our uh, um, our primary domain controller okay so the other one is is the this is the newly created uh, windows server 2025 so I just uh, this is uh, new still not configured so, Windows. so this is a windows server 2025 okay same with the primary so from the local as you can see still the name is still not uh, configured so now i will configure uh, first we need to change the the ip address okay ip address so i will maximize this this is our uh, backup server. So I will change.
change the IP assuming this is already connected to the uh, company network medina.com so now I will create a static 68 0 0.253 then 25 then 192.168.1 0.1 this is the um, our default gateway for the network to our DNS the primary 680.254 okay okay so now we are done with the um, static IP next is the computer name so computer name and we need to join to domain okay so change what is the PC name phmed Confirm ph med dc1. Now this is ph med dc2. And the domain is we will join to domain now.com. Okay, then the password. This is the primary domain account. So welcome to domain so it's already joined okay so it will restart the system what is that phmeddc1 medina.com okay start Let's start It's done. We already uh, joined the this uh, backup backup uh, domain controller to Medina.com. Then we already uh, um, changed to IP uh, to IP static uh, address. Then now what we will do is uh, go to Manager Dashboard. And we will create again the rules and features okay so click the add rules and features click next rule base select the pdc2 okay then uh, find the active directory domain services add features click next and click next click next then install Let's wait. So now it's done. So as you can see, there is a promote this server domain controller. So we need to promote domain controller. Click this one. Then here, uh, as you can see, we uh, it's already autom uh, automatic uh, select the domain. This is our uh, primary domain. So no need to add a new forest. So select this. Okay. Now uh, ne click next. So create the directory service restore mode. Click next. We don't need this one. Click next. Then as you can see, 
specify additional replication so now we can replicate the primary domain controller okay so it will replicate click next click next click next so let's wait and uh, check the prerequisites now it's okay and install <coughs> now it's done it will uh, sign out or the start to take effect the changes so close close so let's wait it will restart automatically okay connect so now we are done with the uh, adding the the role adds and dns then uh, changing changing the ip static address and the name so let's see now it's applying the computer settings so now let's log in As you can see the adds is configured and dns so now let's check the active directory first so from here from the tools let's check the active directory users and computers if it's replicate to the primary primary domain controller so now it's here so as you can see the medina.com is here expand now as you can see the manila is replicated here in our uh, backup domain controller also the computers with the uh, med001 it staff with the michael and uh, users with alias so this is the replication of the medina.com uh, from the uh, primary domain controller so i will show you from the on the primary so this is the primary i will check also the active directory so as you can see manila manila computer computer i just stop i just stop users and users now i will show you on how uh, i will create from the uh, main controller let's see if it will replicate here in the second uh, replicate in the second uh, backup uh, domain controller I will create an organization unit here in the uh, primary uh, domain controller so the name is uh, for example it's HR okay now as you can see here I will refresh here and yeah, now it's here there is a delay so just you just need to wait to sync the changes Okay, so I will create the uh, uh, account here, a new account, so a new account, users, so maybe uh, Veronica, uh, Medina, is our login with med 003, so this is the login for the laptop, and password. click next then finish so from the HR created it should be have a it will uh, reflect also to the second uh, domain controller to the backup now it's here okay so this is the changes this is the failover uh, this is the backup replication of our domain controller so now we will uh, what we will do is to check the 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 DNS. So from the tools, go to tools, DNS. Then uh, click here. So in my forward lookup, 
as you can see it's already added the P, uh, it's already uh, replicated here in a uh, in our medina.com uh, forward lookup zone so there is a ph med dc1 and also the the name server P, P, uh, name server ph m e d dc1 is already here then let's see the reverse uh, reverse lookup zone here it's already registered our uh, primary domain IP address 254 so also the the name server okay phmdc1 so it's already reflect reflected already created so we don't need to create anymore because it's uh, automatically created when we uh, do the replication of the primary domain uh, controller so it's done so um for my next video i will show you on how to uh, uh configure the dhcp server uh backup dhcp server okay thank you for watching i hope you uh, understand uh, our uh, youtube tutorial thank you